Mr. President, I want to start off by reminding everybody of a, an old but very short Hans Christian Andersen story about an emperor who had, who was convinced by two very clever weavers that they could make clothes that would, own, that would be invisible to anybody that was unfit for position or stupid or incompetent. And as a result, everybody thought they could see the clothes until one little boy said, the emperor doesn't have any clothes. And then everybody gasped and realized that was the case. Well, we've kind of been weaving a budget through the years that is kind of like the emperor's clothes. We want everybody to be able to see them and think that we are fit and competent and not stupid. I know it's only fun to invent and spend on new programs, but Congress has to be the adult in the room. They have to recognize whether their emperor has clothes or not. They can't pretend to see. These bipartisan reforms wouldn't, wouldn't solve all our budget problems, but they are a promising first step towards unsticking the budget gridlock that's gripped Washington in recent years. More importantly, they would create healthy fiscal habits. It would force Congress to recognize and begin to address the daunting fiscal challenges this country faces. This crisis isn't going to go away, and only the members of Congress can fix it. The American people have spoken, and we owe it to them to put this country on a better path. These reforms are a necessary first step, and Congress must enact them as soon as possible.